Hey everybody, it's Corey. Um, today we're going to look at a new feature in Lou 11 that is called Review and Invoice. And this feature is all about getting you home early tonight. Maybe you got a softball game, maybe you want to barbecue with the family in the backyard. But you know, it's the busy season, so you got to work late. But what we try and do with this feature is make uh, enable you to do the work that you're typically doing after hours, billing out customers, sending receipts, invoices to them, getting all the notes straight, making sure the uh, techs have uh, billed out their time appropriately, and let you do that throughout the day whenever you want. So you do have that free time in your busy season. One of my earliest customers, Brendan Riley, pool and spa house out in Tigard, Oregon after he had implemented our, our legacy product many years ago. And I talked to him a couple months later, he told me that my desk is cleaner and I go home earlier. And that really has stuck with me in how we think about uh, designing the software to just enable the smallest process in your business to go a little bit faster. So with Lou 10, uh, 11 here, this review and invoice process, uh, has taken it even to the next level. So let's go take a look at the review and invoice process for work orders. I'm gonna click on my schedule tile. I'm gonna end up on my schedule dashboard. Uh, see all the action happening today across all the divisions. But up here in the right hand corner, you'll notice a new button called review and invoice. When I click on that, it's gonna drive me to a screen that's going to show me that already today, this morning at 9.30 a.m., uh, Dan and Corey have actually completed a task already. So these are work orders that were completed. The tech notes were entered and they're ready for invoicing. So as the back office person, you know, you don't have to wait until 5 p.m. to do this. Uh, you can do it as soon as it's ready. I'm going to go ahead and give that uh, first um, Dan's work order a review here, make sure he did everything right. So right now we're looking at a read-only version of the order. Here was the original request. Water care is not included. Better make sure that he puts some water care on there. And sure enough, he billed for the pool opening and he did the chemicals great. Now I don't have to fix his work for him. Uh, looks like uh, we have some notes here. Looks like he did forget to put his outcome notes in. That's okay. We're just doing as many pool openings as we can right now. So I say this is good enough to invoice. So the next step is to go to invoice. And what we're going to do here is all these transactions for you. Now it looks like we did not collect a card on file and that's our bad. And I'm going to have to talk to whoever put that work order in. So let's just go ahead and invoice it anyway. Uh, we can send the invoice as a receipt uh, on payment success. Well, since I'm not going to take a payment, I'm not going to do that. But I do want to go ahead and send this customer a statement since we didn't get the card collected at time of entry. So right now, when I click invoice, the work order will be invoiced. Everything will be completed. And a customer will end up with an email in their inbox or a text message on their phone with a link to their customer statement. And just that quickly, that job is all billed out and been reviewed. So let's go through that again, one more step. Before I go there, uh, you'll see up here in the right-hand corner, you'll see how many people, uh, jobs are completed, 60%, 67% today. And it looks like one of my techs has actually marked their task as incomplete. They weren't able to fix it. Maybe we need parts in the warehouse. So if you click the view button, that would take you through yet another time-saving process of reviewing all your incomplete work orders, getting them uh, back in the queue or parts from the warehouse or parts on order from the vendor. Let's go through that review and invoice process one more time. We had a hearth install that Corey went out to do at uh, Dave Lane's house. Here is that uh, address. I'm gonna go and review that. And customer needs help installing their hearth products that they purchased at Home Depot. Agreed to sign up for the swim retreat chimney sweep service in exchange for the help. Uh, looks like they went out there, they did the work, connected the gas, installed the unit, and got the customer signed up for the chimney sweep service. And 
we build them for our labor. So everything looks good here. I'm gonna go on and invoice that. And um, looks like the uh, this time we, we, we still don't have a card on file. Uh, I'm gonna turn that off. And it looks like the uh, tech forgot to send the door hanger to the customer. So I'm gonna go ahead and send the door hanger now with all those notes from the job site. And as well, since we don't have the card on file, I wanna send that customer statement, drive them back to our Lou product here and let them make the payment themselves. So I'm gonna go ahead and invoice that work order. And then I'm back on my queue. So if I'm the person who's, who's reviewing and invoicing all the work orders that come in for the day, uh, I can go do some other work now. Looks like the queue is uh, cleared out. If I click refresh when I come back, you know, there's gonna be a couple more uh, text, uh, tasks that have been completed, but then you can review an invoice. So you see, you're doing this work throughout the day. You're not waiting until six, seven, eight at night. So let's just quickly jump over, pretend I'm the customer. And I've just received my statement. Looks like you came out and did the work. I'm opening this up as the customer on my phone, in my email inbox, and I'm clicking the link. And we're driving that customer, David Lane, back to their account, and they actually have a balance due on their account. And we're actually gonna let the customer click and make a payment here if they choose to do so. And when they click there, we can actually override the amount. They could pay less if they want, or they can enter their card on file. So again, I'm acting as the customer right now. I got this on my phone, I got this in my email. And just that quickly, we've the tech is probably still driving down the block. You've already reviewed the work order. You've invoiced it. You've put it back in the customer's hands if you didn't have a card on file. And they could be making the payment right now, all as we speak. Really quick, really easy. And that's review and invoicing. Thank you for watching. Yes, hello.